the answer is the way it is. Look at Chini natarajia kutoa kwa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya William Samoei Ruto jambo la kwanza I'm insisting that the Kenya Kwanza government should the first track through the members of parliament kwa petition ile mswada ambao unaitwa pale bungeni ambao wanataka kumtengenezea huyu kiongozi wa upinzani ofisi Naomba sana Kenya Kwanza ile mswada ambao wabunga napeleka pale bungeni. Wataka kutengeneza ofisi ya kiongozi wa upinzani. We want to give Raila Amolo Odinga ofisi ya upinzani afanye kazi. Ni hiyo ndio kitu tunamsumbua kila wakati tukiwaambia kwamba nataka kwenda maandamano. Wakati aliena kamkunji Mr. Speaker alikuwa anataka kujua kama bado ako na wafuasi wake. And on Wednesday nilikuwa hapa nikamwambia vizuri kwamba Raila Amolo Odinga amekuwa akibeba wafuasi wake sana na wajaijua kwa Raila Odinga wants. Mimi nikikaa mahali huwa najiuliza what does Raila Amolo Odinga wants in this country? Akuja ambia wananchi what does he want in this country Mr. Speaker? Today Mr. Speaker wakati aliambia wafuasi wake kwamba atakuwa Jakarta ground. Today yeye mwenyewe amesema kwamba he will not be here Mr. Speaker. What does that mean? Wakati atatengenezwa ofisi yake and treasury yaanze kupatia pesa, Raila Amolo Odinga atanyamaza wafuasi wake watanyamaza Mr. Speaker. So what I'm expecting number one is that ofisi yake atengenezewe, akaya patiwe gari, atulie, mambo itaendelea Mr. Speaker. That's what you need Mr. Speaker. Jambo la pili. Jambo la pili Mr. Speaker. Jambo la pili Mr. Speaker. What I'm expecting from William Samoei Ruto, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Mr. Speaker, ni kwamba uhuru mema. William Samoei Ruto anaenda kutuelezea for the first 100 days ametufanyia nini. That's what I'm expecting from the, the head of state. Anaenda kutuambia nini. We know a number of things that William Samoei Ruto has done. So those, those things ambao amefanya anaenda kufafanua kwa kina nini ambacho ameshafanya na ni nini ambacho kimebakia kufanya for the next two years ambayo imebakia pale kwa sababu umetuambia in the next one year he is going to ensure that the economy goes down that is what i'm expecting from william samoe ruto mr speaker that is the point i'm expecting from him mr speaker mr speaker the people of kenya are expecting a lot from kenya kwanza including our competitors mr speaker they are expecting and that is not why The opposition leader is very keen on the government of the day, Mr. Speaker. He's pushing the government to ensure that he delivers what he promised to the people of Kenya. So I'm insisting William Samoe Ruto, whatever Ama amekuwa kipromise and sisi kama wafuasi wake tumekuwa tukipromise wananchi, he deliver them. Kwa sababu we want him to come back 2027 and that's what we need, Mr. Speaker. So Ruto is going to declare what he has done and what he's going to do for the next five years for the people of Kenya, Mr. Speaker. That is what we're going to expect from him. Even anybody kama kuna mtu yote anazidi kuuliza William Samoe Ruto amefanya nini anangojea unga ipungue kwa nyumba yake anapungua zini ipungue kwa nyumba yake these are the people who need to live and they go to work Mr. Speaker Mr. Speaker Mr. Speaker Mr. Speaker niko na maswali mbili kwa mwalimu Swali ya kwanza. Swali. Swali ya kwanza. Nataka mwalimu anieleze. Kati ya Raila Amolo Odinga na William Samoei Ruto, ni nani anataka andishe hapa katikati? 
Is a speaker? Kidogo. Nirudia swali yangu. Nauliza mwalimu swali simbo. Kati ya mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga na William Samuel Ruto. Ni nani anataka handshake? Hiyo ni swali yangu ya kwanza. Swali yangu ya pili. Tangu William Samuel Ruto aingie watu wa Venezuela washirikiane na yeye kumweka kwa ofisi na, na chebuchiata na mathakome tangu ameingia kwa ofisi ni nini amefanyia wa Kenya mzuri ile hata mtoto mwenye ako standard 4 anaweza simama wa muulizo wa muoji wa muulize rais wako ni nani ni Ruto amefanya nini na ajibu kwa right thank you oda 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 mmemba wacha chukua hizo lingine tafadhali mwanzani Mwana speaker thank you. Amesema Ruto amefanya. Sasa mimi, mimi nataka kuuliza hivi. Ruto ameweka GMO. Okay. Mimi nataka kuuliza mwalimu swali. Wakati wewe unasema president wako amefanya kazi. Na yeye mwenyewe wakati alisema akiachilia Biblia chini hivi, unge itakuwa 70. Sasa hii unga ni pesa ngapi? Thank you. Mr speaker. Let us be realistic. Atuko hapa kufanya propaganda na kufanya vituko Mr. Speaker. Hatuko hapa kwa vituko. Na si mmeza swali simnyamaze mjibiwe so you want to ask and you want to ask kama atanza it. So kama mtaka kujijibu simkuja mjijibu if you feel you are superior so superior. Propaganda ya. Hii bunga ni yetu sisi wote. Wewe Mr. Speaker, hii bunga lazima tuelemane kwa sababu wakikuja kuongea hapa we give them our ears. Kama hawataki kutukiza, then they have to go and talk to us. Wani nyinyi mnakuja kuongea nini hapa? Lazima tuelewane tuheshimiane. Mwalimu hii must be said to each other. Another point. Kama ukiwe simiana, then you have to you Kenya. Lazima tuheshimiane. Kama tuheshimiane. Na tuogopi mtu hapa? Kwa tunaogopa nani? We don't fear anybody. By the way, we fear nobody. <laughs> Ongoje nataka tuelewane. Hii bunge ni ya kila mtu. Bwana kwanza mimi ni mchungu sana kwa nini anataka command. Nasikia unataka. Hii bunge si ya mtu fulani ama ya chama fulani. Hii bunge ni ya kila mtu. Mtu akiulizwa swali wacha jibu. Ukipiga kelele hautasikia na jibu. Ah ah, muda tachungu kwa sababu ya kelele yangu. Tulie atulie ndugu yangu. Bunge ni ujinga masa. Honorable members, nataka tuelewane. Hata ile ile bunge tu wana kelele kelele. Tulie tu moja, moja. Chembuze, chembuze hii yetu. Ah ah. Chembuze hii yetu. Bwana, basi ongea wana wa. Acha ongea wana wa moja. Ah ah, moja. Ongea wana wa moja. Thank you. Ah ah, wacha ongea wana wa. Mr. Speaker, the first question tumeulizwa ati huyu rais ambaye ni wa Venezuela amechagua watu wa Venezuela I have also another question the same Mr. Speaker wakati huyu rais ambaye alichagua watu wa Venezuela those our competitors now walikuwa wapi kutafuta wa Venezuela wamchague that's what we are asking Mr. Speaker where were they they would have got them to kuja chague huyo kiongozi Mr. Speaker huyu ni mgeni waja waulize number 2 kutoka nje toka nje amnini pale hapa kusoma pale hiyo mama pale Mr. Speaker my friend Mr. Speaker the question is from my friend kwamba at William Samoe Ruto ama Kenya kwanza imefanya nini so far those people who are asking such a questions that our competitors about they can't see any value from the government of the day Mr Speaker we can't argue with them we know them we know them Mr Speaker it's the same thing we know nothing and Ruto can give us nothing as the head of the state of this country Mr Speaker so it's the same thing Mr Speaker Mr Speaker Mr Speaker Mr Speaker Mr Speaker we ongea wacha na Mr Speaker According to the election According to the by election done Mr Speaker Hapa hapa kwa bunge tuliwaambia hivi 
and some of us were telling them wakatuona kama ni watu ambao atu kula jitu nawambia but today they see us and they see we were some, some additional and values what we were telling them Mr. Speaker we tuliwambia hapa ODM chamba inakufa 2022 wani mjinga as we speak today Mr. Speaker chamba cha ODM yu ni chamba ambao kilikufa Mr. Speaker na tuliwambia even before before the general election Mr. Speaker the ODM party is dead Mr. Speaker yu chamba akita kuwepo na akita kuwepo Mr. Speaker what is happening ni other Mr. Speaker to those people our competitors watu waelezee jambo moja hapa kama unafuatilia kesi ambayo inaendelea pale Homa Bay ya Gladys Wanga and 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 Evans Kidero Mr Speaker utaona kile kinaendelea pale one kuna watu ambao wamekuwa pale they were being given two papers to vote in Gladys Wanga Mr Speaker and it's that's a witness ambayo iko hapa iko before the court of Homa Bay Mr Speaker number two Mr Speaker number two Mr Speaker there's an old man from Homa Bay Mr Speaker akasema kwamba from the experience amekuwa nayo in the voting and voting from from that Mr. Speaker, Raila Omar Odinga amekuwa akishawishi watu ambao wanapita kwa chama ya ODM against the will of the people of of Nyanza region Mr. Speaker. And that's the reason why Nyanza today iko vile iko. Huyu mjamaa wa ODM ingekuwa general election angepita. Angepita. Lakini today because ilikuwa by election amepita because no people walikuwa pale pale pale. So Mr. Speaker, they can agree on that one. Mr. Speaker, umeingia UDS. Mr. Speaker, umeingia UDS. Mr. Speaker, umeingia UDS. Mr. Speaker, in 30 seconds, yes. we want to tell, we want to say this. Yes. 
that actually the party that remain in Kenya is UDA. Oh. Well, UDA is the party that is in Kenya. In National Assembly, UDA. <laughs> The property in the assembly the speaker. In the Senate, the UDA is a bad So, what do our ODM want to be? What do our UDA want to be? The National Assembly of the UDA. 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 UDA.